this is Will Suter from ASO Nano and we're talking to Hartmut Statler from Brooker. He's going to tell us about the Dimension Fast Scan AFM. Yeah, hello. What you see here is our latest product, the Dimension Fast Scan system. This instrument is um, designed to improve throughput of samples, get measurements done more quickly. That says the name, Dimension Fast Scan. And what you can see, or how you can see this, um, is here the scanning speed at the same image quality, more or less. So you can scan images um, about 10 to 20 times faster than with a standard AFM. Um, what it means really to be fast, you can see at a simple experiment, if we change the scan speed to standard speed, then you can see that's what uh, a traditional AFM does, but what we can do now is go simply quicker. It's not only the scanning speed which makes the system fast, it's as well the handling. So one thing we have here is more automation than on our other instruments. So if we, if we check, for example, after installation of a new cantilever, we have um, motorized alignment of the laser. So what you can, as you can see here, basically if this is uh, not properly aligned, you simply click onto the cantilever, the cantilever moves into the laser beam, you see that here. You have as well good optics to focus on all the parts and you can as well auto-align the photo detector. Maybe then we can take a quick look at the instrument itself to make this a bit easier uh, to s understand. As I said, tip scanning system, here's the scan head and below we have the stage where we place samples. You can see here um, the possibility to place wafers up to 200 millimeter, but that's not, that's not the only samples uh, which are imaged. Many researchers who have small samples can place many of them on this chuck and then you can do even automated measurements and um, yeah the, the let's say the combination of the big stage motorization uh, ease of use features with the alignment and the speed um, makes them a quicker time to result than in a traditional um, AFM. Yeah, so that would be a typical workflow. Um, basically, you can see here the sample placed on a, on a small, small mount for small samples. For example, you can use as well magnets or you can place them here somewhere. You rotate them below the sample here, uh, below the scanner. And so we engage here, yeah, maybe at a slightly slower speed for the beginning. And um, now you might um, check more or less how quick we get down to the sample. So even if it's a, a big distance from the surface, um, it's quite quick down. It's first doing some pre-alignment and then the motor moves down and within a few seconds the surface is reached. You can see here the motor travel after eight further microns more or less we are we are down on the sample okay and now we start again seeing the topography of the surface so and if you now um, well now we need to adjust a bit of course yeah make the tracking a bit better okay and now we can, for example, start again in scanning quicker. Yeah, so that's the workflow. And within a few seconds you are engaged and you get now the image within a very short time. And now we can go to, let's say, a frame rate, frame per, per second, just um, now with a little bit loss of quality 
and this is now 40 hertz so now, and now you see it um, reaches the let's say uh, limit of the bandwidth but it's still uh, possible to track for example movements on the surface very quickly a nice thing is uh, for example look at moving molecules or absorption processes so now we have something like less than a second per image so this is now one frame per second and well that was not the original intention of the system the idea, idea was really to um, help for this general sample measurement surveying with a lot of samples or a single sample um, many high quality data but you can drive it up to let's say a frame or few frames per, per second yeah, so that's now incredibly quick so you can see yeah well it's not a high quality image but well for these applications one does not need that high quality yes so from the hardware as well as to mention um, the all the design of this head is uh, optimized for that so it's not only the cantilever it's as well the scanner itself so has higher resonance frequencies to allow this faster scanning without ringing and the faster response um, okay so from from the tests and applications we have um, done so far the it ranges from really polymeric material science looking at um, polymer crystallization for example, de-wetting phenomena um, as well to um, experiments under fluid so you can operate this as well in fluid in the biological sciences for example dynamics of um, uh, membrane patches on a surface um, disruption of cell membranes um, so there's um, a wide range of applications not focused on let's say wafers um, hard samples you can employ it for more or less any uh, measurement uh, any application okay so that's a short tour through the fast scan thank you very much Hartmut for telling us about the dimension fast scan okay <laughs>